We're looking here at a small collection of five 19th century books uh, written for uh, or directed to uh, women in general. Uh, this first one is 1870, Springfield, Massachusetts. All edges of it are gilt. Uh, and we see it has some plates like so. And <laughs> people reading a book in the bath. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, it's uh, cosmetics and all this, yeah, there we are. This one is aimed, I think, at both sexes, but it is definitely, uh, the large portion of it is aimed at women, so nice gilt-blocked front cover to that. This second book here is Memoirs of an American Lady in this embossed in blind decorative cloth binding, it was gilt-stamped spine, like so, with sketches of manners in America by Mrs. Grant, and it is 18, right here, 1846, like so, and we see there's some heavy spotting within it, like this, brownie and spotting, winter amusements of the Albanians, ha, 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 Oh, look at this. Description of the manner in which the Indian traders set out on their first adventures. Huh. That's such an... It's so interesting. Yeah, here's the contents. Gentle treatment of slaves among the Albanians. For some reason, there's a lot about Albania in here. Um, and about children, Mohawks, and the influence of the Christian Indians. That's very interesting. Yeah. Huh. A lot about Indians in here. Yes, or Native Americans, really. Mode of conveying timber. Fairy, memoirs of an American lady. That's interesting. It's a very interesting woman's accounting of her perspective on uh, events in society and around the world. And so we have here the Lady's Guide to Perfect Gentility, 1860, right, at the, right before the start of the Civil War. There it looks like a well-dressed Southern Belle type. It's a useful instructor, uh, dressmaking, care of the wardrobe, the hair, the teeth, the hands, the lips, the complexion, and we see there's some toning. Uh, this has advice for removing stains from clothing and how to uh, carry yourself and uh, converse in public appropriately. A few pages were bent probably by a previous owner to note some passages that they felt were uh, interesting. Here's a section on dating <laughs> Letter writing, uh, yes, yes, and then there's this publisher's catalog at the rear, like this. It was owned by a woman in New York, Etta May Lilly, okay. Then, here's letters to mothers, 1843, stamped on the spine. Early publishers plain cloth like this, without any kind of ornamentation or decoration. The text block displays some light damp staining at the upper portion, and then there's some spotting throughout, then there's some more damp staining at the base, like so. 1842, Mrs. Sigourney, well-known uh, female author. S sections on uh, health, economy, uh, the character, schools, community reading, thinking, happiness, respect, hospitality, opinion of wealth, all of these uh, topics addressed uh, Aim specifically at a female audience. The final book in the group is this uh, Publishers Stamped in Blind with a gilt decorated and lettered spine. It's a young woman's, young lady's counselor. Here is the engraved half title, 1830, actually 52 that says, and this is the title page, 1855. So there's a difference between this date and the date of the half title. That's because this is the 18th thousand, so it's been gone through a couple different editions. And this is uh, <laughs> True Happiness. It's funny, a Young Ladies Counselor, written by uh, a male. <laughs> yeah. yeah, And self-reliance, spirit, influence, yes, yeah, so on, all about yes, just all this extensive self-culture and manners and so on. Um, some damp staining like we see here at the top corner of much of the text block 
And then at the rear, I think I saw, right, just a short little uh, four-page publisher's catalog, like so. And this group of five books is available now as a lot online from me, Brian DeMambro.